Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, see, uh, we are now in the lecture number 25. Uh, and we are going to start today with a new module. So that's called a new module uh, titled uh, Engineering Mechanisms. That's uh, not uh, uh, all of a sudden. Now we are going to study that. We have been looking at uh, uh, various injuries and criterions, how uh, severe the injuries would be in the event of accidents. Well, we have been watched many crash videos. So, um, when you say injury in crash, we know how uh, dangerous it is. Anyhow, as an engineer, uh, you are going to uh, work, uh, suppose, on product development, in, uh, on safety restraint systems uh, or uh, active safety systems in your vehicle. It is mandatory that you have an idea or knowledge of a uh, bit of biomechanics that are involved in uh, impact injury mechanisms. So that is the reason why you have this module uh, uh, one six in our course titled Engineering Mechanisms. So we are going to uh, learn that engineering mechanism very systematically uh, in our class. Uh, so let me just to share uh, my screen. So you are able to view the screen. And yes, sir. Yeah. So we have witnessed many, uh, many crash videos and we have been uh, learning the scores uh, right from having a big picture of uh, what do you mean by crash worthiness, and what are various uh, crash worthiness goals and uh, uh, the regulations that go in uh, realizing crash worthiness and then um, oh, how can we achieve and uh, what are the uh, uh, other side of uh, improving the crash worthiness that are there uh, other than uh, real time experiments on a simulation side today uh, scenario OEMs are having fantastic computational facilities that they can have virtual crash testing and so on that all we have uh, been looked at in our first module and then we were uh, um, uh, entered into looking at in details uh, various uh, test configurations and the test regulations uh, as per uh, motor vehicle safety standards or uh, Euro norms, uh, various uh, uh, new car assessment programs, uh, those are following some certain test configurations of real time execution of crash test. So we have learned uh, uh, importantly full frontal crash test and um, offset uh, frontal crash test, and then uh, how. Uh, um, on the side impact crash test, uh, rollover crash test are conducted uh, with respect to uh, right from preparation of uh, test vehicles and test dummies, test environment, and then what all the necessary uh, measurement uh, instrumentation uh, aspects that go in, and then getting the data, looking at the data interpretation, and so on. All in that context, we have learned uh, uh, many aspects of different test configurations of real time crash test with the dummies. Uh, with the uh, restraint system or without restraint system all uh, uh, in our second module. And then we marched into module uh, three, uh, wherein we want to uh, learn more of physics behind this crash of vehicle. So that's where we understood the fundamental principles of mechanical uh, uh, engineering. That's basically a rigid body mechanics uh, and its application into uh, uh, looking at uh, the crash of uh, uh, crashing of vehicles or collision of vehicles in a closed form analytical equations to solve. And that's where we have understood the application of Newton's second law in its other forms are very vital uh, uh, to understand those physics. Uh, those are essentially uh, consideration of energy principle, consideration of linear uh, uh, momentum principle, and then uh, uh, impulse and momentum principle, work and energy principles. So these are all uh, that we have understood uh, how that can be nicely applied onto uh, the collision scenarios uh, to understand importantly the collision event uh, which is being divided into deformation phase and restitution phase and so on. And then uh, um, we have also uh, we have also uh, uh, looked at something called the Kelvin's theorem and how the Kelvin's theorem is quite useful uh, to derive. 
the total crash energy of your vehicle and then also to find out an individual crash energies of the vehicle and then uh, we were able to come out with some of the uh, uh, relationship between the total crush energy in terms of uh, how that is uh, influenced by mass and the stiffness of the vehicle and so on. So these are all something that uh, as a core fundamental mechanics principles or physics of uh, vehicle collisions that you have learned in uh, module 3. After that in module 4, uh, uh, we were uh, looking at, uh, can anyone say what does that we were doing it in module 4? Module 4. That's our most really for uh, pedestrian safety and vehicle ergonomics. So, we have looked at uh, um, uh, in that aspects of road safety. Uh, apart from vehicle and vehicle occupant, the road users, uh, those are called pedestrians. And uh, what are the uh, uh, tips and uh, the suggestion that those pedestrians can always, always be saved from uh, the vehicle uh, accidents? So, with reference to vehicle, if you say uh, that are uh, from the vehicle safety systems, active safety system that can be automated braking that can prevent hitting the pedestrian, uh, or uh, if it is unavoidable, hit the pedestrian, the, uh, uh, the safety aspects in a passive way going on exterior of a vehicle or the dimension design of a vehicle such that the injury of a pedestrian can be minimal. Uh, can be avoiding the fatality. So that's what something that we looked at uh, uh, in pedestrian safety aspect. Uh, also, we have looked at uh, in our Indian scenario uh, from uh, Jharkhand Police uh, uh, um, website, we have looked at various uh, regulations that go in getting driving license and uh, know about uh, various uh, highway traffic uh, um, uh, signs, uh, uh, signs and rules um, and so on. So there can be uh, informative uh, signs, there can be warning signs, there can be uh, mandatory signs that are necessary to be followed. So we have classified uh, uh, many ways the road signs, uh, the traffic signs that are helpful for to avoid pollutions if everyone obeys that. That's all we have seen. And then uh, importantly in that module 4, an important part called in vehicle ergonomics aspect. So when you see um, the occupant to be present comfortably inside the vehicle and they have to interact with your mission that's your vehicle and its controls and that has to be at ease. So that's what has been done uh, with an ergonomic design of your uh, vehicle and we have seen in detail uh, a nice lecture uh, adopted from uh, Professor uh, Karmakar from IIT Gahati uh, and uh, that lecture we have learned uh, what are various aspects that are uh, going of vehicle occupant packaging in that process, we learned uh, importantly uh, many of uh, uh, reference uh, points with reference to the vehicle access system of ergonomics, and then uh, uh, what are the mannequins and their posture and so on. Uh, uh, we, this is all something that we have learned in vehicle ergonomics. So then we had come to module five. In module five, it was dedicated for especially on vehicle safety systems and uh, we classify the vehicle safety system as active safety system and passive safety system. And um, we were looking at those uh, elements of uh, uh, different aspects of uh, uh, the safety system. Active safety system is to prevent uh, uh, the accidents, uh, whereas the passive safety system is to protect the accident in case it cannot be prevented. So this is all something in short that we could see uh, what we have looked at in uh, uh, vehicle safety system in detail that we have seen uh, the working principles of uh, important passive restraint system like uh, seat belt and uh, airbag deployment uh, and uh, head restraint uh, system for uh, to avoid a whiplash uh, uh, common injury that can happen when vehicle is hit by the rear uh, uh, by other vehicle and so on uh, through many uh, nice videos uh, collection uh, that we have organized way looked at and uh, got a knowledge in a um, systematic way in our mind. So with that uh, five modules uh, with the background learned uh, entire semester spending almost of 24 hours uh, listening uh, and today we are at 25th lecture for this injury mechanisms right. So I think uh, this is a good push to get on with this lecture. And uh, let's look at and the lecture points, uh, what are there in this uh, particular module. So we're going to study in detail uh, these listed uh, injury mechanisms right from head, neck, thoracic and abdominal uh, injuries and then uh, uh, thoraco, 
lumnar spinal injury mechanism and pelvic injury mechanisms and the injury mechanism that are associated with the lower extremities that means uh, on our legs uh, uh, what are the injuries that we may get uh, counted so this all uh, when you see now maybe this lecture may be uh, uh, appearing to us or may feel that we are somewhat uh, 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 diversified from our mechanical engineering our dynamics and control aspects and we get into uh, our biomechanics 